Y ahí estamos viendo los datos. 26 años tiene Bertil Ortiz, 34 Tomás Cordero Dulor. Eh, la estatura, lo hemos dicho antes, que todos miden lo mismo de los cuatro que quedan, unos 78. Eh, ha dado en la báscula a Bergil Ortiz 70-600, por encima del Super Welter, no hay pero problema. Bueno, pero poquitín. 70-100 ha dado. 154 and one half pounds. As a professional, his record stands with 26 victories, 6 defeats and one draw, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. He wears silver and gold and hails from Carolina, Puerto Rico. Please welcome former world title challenger, Tomás Dulorme. His opponent is undefeated and fights out of the red corner. He weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. As a professional, he is undefeated. 20 pounds, 20 victories, all 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He wears black with silver and represents Grand Prairie, Texas. Please welcome the former WBO International and WBA Gold Champion, Virgil Ortiz Jr. All right, gentlemen. We got full waistband on both sides, gentlemen. All right, you got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times and listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. So a big night for Virgil Ortiz Jr. The big fight with Tim Zhu in August. Hanging in the balance. If he wants that, he's got to go through an old friend in Thomas Delorme. The former world title challenger trying to hang on to his career and his relevance now at 154. Tom, you ready? There's no friends ready? in boxing, Corey. Strictly business. Friends by day, enemies by night. Round one underway, and Virgil Ortiz is all business all the time. So I'm stopping uh, Frederick Lawson in the opening round, albeit uh, a controversial stoppage, but. That's part of the story too, Chris, is that as much as we're thinking about that fight down the road, Virgil Ortiz has had, what, one round in a handful of years? Yeah, and he said coming into this fight, he would love nothing more than to get some rounds. Now, I think members of his team would probably disagree with a huge fight against Tim Zhu in the offing. They'd probably like to get this done sooner rather than later, but Virgil understands there's some ring rust that's attached to him right now, and the only way to get rid of it is to get some rounds in. Absolutely, and you get those off, but just you know, little by little, not going for the knockout, just you know, start start getting those cobwebs off with the jab, you know, pushing your, your, your opponent back. Don't load up on your shots too early. Dormay firing that right hand over the top, blocked by Ortiz. One thing that Ortiz said he remembered about some of those sparring sessions, of course, Delorme thought they went his way, but Ortiz specifically remembered a sequence where he said he rocked him with seven straight jabs. Yeah, Delorme told us that in those sparring sessions, uh, Virgil doesn't like uh, going backwards. That's normally the case with big punchers. They they don't fight as well going backwards the than they do forwards, stop, 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 but it's stop, easier stop, stop. said than done. Let him go, you know, let him they, go. Big, stop, Virgil Ortiz ahead, has to respect you uh, in order for him to start backing up. Just missed with that left hand, Ortiz. Ortiz is the type of guy, and we've seen it before, he can hurt you and drop you with jabs. You know, it's just a, a battering ram of a jab once he starts letting it go with full force. You know, Ortiz doesn't waste punches. He, he, he makes that ring smaller and smaller just with, with presence, with that pressure. And then once he, he unleashes with those combinations, you know, it, it, it's not only devastating, but it's intimidating to go forward. Let him go, let him go. All right, stop, stop. Yes, no the punch, power no is the pressure. Let him go. And, let him go. You know, you don't always think about this when it comes to pressure fighters, power punchers. It's foot speed. It's, it's walking opponents down the way that Ortiz does as he just misses over the top of that right hand. Thomas, let him you go. Know, stop, stop, stop. I wouldn't go as far as say foot speed. It's, it's foot timing sure. that, that, that Ortiz has. He knows how to, you know, punch when he's at range. He doesn't, he doesn't waste punches when he's out of range. So that's Good what he, shot to the body. And Thomas Delorme rolling around in a heap. Six, Way too early. Delorme's not getting up. 
Now. He is not getting up. And you could see the look on Virgil Ortiz's face when he landed that punch. He knew exactly what he hit him with. Virgil Ortiz hurt Vegas Kamalaskis to the body. He found a home for that left hook to Thomas DeLorme, a veteran who's been in there with everybody, every name. Virgil Ortiz Jr. gets it done in under three minutes. Well, that is a home run hitter of a puncher, and just like a home run hitter who knows when the ball is gone, Virgil Ortiz was pimping that shot before it left the ballpark. Hit him right in the sweet spot. It doesn't always have to be the chin. That liver would just work just as well. Yeah. You see the doctors checking on Thomas DeLorme. That did not take long. What a body shot I just can't get from Virgil Ortiz Jr. <laughs> 21 for 21. 21 consecutive knockouts in the career of Virgil Ortiz Jr. Let's take a look back at it. Why do you gotta hit so hard is what referee Thomas Taylor tells Virgil Ortiz Jr. Listen, we don't get paid for overtime, so Virgil Ortiz got it done quick. Just a beautiful shot. Right, you can see him trying to set up that shot right around the elbow. It, it wasn't even a clean shot. That's how hard Ortiz punches. It was right around the elbow, caught him right on the bottom of that. It was just way too early to get hit with clean shots like that by a devastating puncher in Ortiz Jr. But DeLorme, credit to him, he can take it upstairs. He's been in there with the biggest names, but this young kid has dynamite in both fists. Yeah, and you know, we always say, you know, with, with headshot knockout, Sergio, when you see a guy go down face first, know. that's generally an indication he's not get, he's not gonna get up. With a body shot, if you see a guy in the fetal position, they're definitely not getting back up to their feet. Delorme was in agony after that shot. It's it's rare. It's a rarity, Corey, for, for, for a fighter to get up from a from a body shot that early when they cringe up like that. They're in pain. They're in devastating pain. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of heart. Thomas Delorme refused to get up. Tough night for uh, Thomas Delorme. We'll have uh, plenty to think about in terms of where he'll go with his career next. Sorry, guys. Well, bragging rights are on the line for promotional rivals Queensbury and Matchroom in this history-making five versus five collision set to take place in Riyadh on June 1st. All right, we are ready to make this one official. Send it back up to Mark Fratto. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, two minutes, 39 seconds. In the very first round, your winner by knockout. Still undefeated, 21-0, 21 knockouts. From Grand Prairie, Texas, Virgil Ortiz.